Good evening, folks. Good evening, folks. Good evening, folks. Good evening, folks. It's 2238 on the fifth day, fifth month, 2023. Hey, here's our mother. Here is you, in case you ain't figured it out yet. It sure is a whole lot of moisture to move around here. And if, if we move the little pieces of it, the whole earth will be fragged up at once. And so I have to use different kinds of flows uh, to move moisture around. Or you move them in between different layers of the atmosphere. Through the pausal layers you get that more uh, chaotic flows that cause eddies. And I'll talk a, a brief moment about laminar and lateral flows. Because yeah, you hear me mention them a lot. Yeah, so I thought I'd do a briefness on that. Yeah, so you understand a few things. And then maybe then hey, some of the stuff I say will start to make sense. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to try to do this. I ain't a professor, never going to be one. I have the same medical degree as Bill Gates, by the way. So do you, most of you. Exactly. But we just don't have his bank wallet to add validity to our statements. I have accuracy of statistics to back up that I might be thinking about things correctly. Because as I move the moisture around, I might want this here to just hang out longer while something else meets it. And I want to move the moisture itself in a layer underneath it, in between the chem layers that I want, right? One will go over the top of the other like is going on here. And it's actually, that mass is going underneath and being moved by EMF. You can just catch the waveforms. Hey, I'm going to figure out the crystal clears. It's an interesting formation. <clears throat> yeah, nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Look at the face. Iron Man. It is, again, examples of flow movement. Here they're just vaporizing moisture, backfilling it with chem. And briefly, that was a sunshine area. Heated it up, caused some updrafts. Now, this was a cooler area. You had a pausal layer then form between the two. It could move stuff up and down very easy, very readily in a small border. And that, that line there is the international date line. Somebody decided that, like, if you were just over here, there's people that sit on this line. And just sit here and have a bottle of champagne, you know. I did. I fart. I want to fart there, you know, on both sides at the same time. Because I've done it on the equator. Yeah, I've been over the equator so many times. I've had various misses. I don't have a shit on the equator this time. How's, how's the water flush uh, in, in in Bali versus all the way down in New Zealand and versus all the way up in England? And it changed directions. It, it's kind of funny. Yes, yeah, so you get more stains on the toilet the closer you get to the equator because you don't get as good of a good vortex. So they make the toilets vawoosh. Yeah, it's a chem bomb there. So getting back on topic, before I start talking about farts and chem bombs and linking the tool, is when they lie about greenhouse gases, I'll show you this. So first we'll get to a definition. And what is the difference between a lateral and a laminar flow? Well, in contrast, a laminar flow, the fluid does not flow in parallel layers. And so you'll see this picture kind of zoom up over here. And in that picture, you can see I went on the top. Every, it's showing the direction of gas flow. Because this works with all sorts of fluids. Right? A gas is kind of a fluid, if you think about it. It's, it's, it's a dense fluid. A plasma moving of something. Yeah, so this also works with lots of things, this principle. That theory led to the Tesla valve. He found a way to reduce uh, flows. And you're going to have to look into these things. Here we go. I've got a bigger picture of it for you. Right, you put an obstruction in the way of a of a, a, a laminar flow, it's going really nice. You'll end up with turbulence happening, 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 happening. Things can't move in between the layer all at once. Right, so you get a chaotic flow, which you'll always see on the edges. Or on the tops of clouds, as they curl like that, and they look like waves in the distance. Right, you're just seeing that edge of the turbulent flow from wherever the mass underneath it is being moved all at once. A lot of times they're being moved sideways in a turn like that. Like if you look down the end of it, it would look like a, like a cannoli or a horn, horn roll. Laminar flow, moving it, pushes wakes of things, right? So when you want to push a wake of chem, you pop the laminar flow against it. And that, that picture here of worldview kind of shows that really, really well, actually. Let me go back over here toward Russia. Well, there's a lot of examples of them moving it around. But uh, as they buck things together, well, I'll find it again, because it's a, it's a no move. As this hits that, boom, 
The, the moisture that they're moving right now, the biggest moisture that's being moved, is actually through here. It's coming up through here now. In that big square, what do you think is going on in there? Mm-hmm. What do you think these beams move? They cause these flows to occur. Okay, so, that'll lead you to learn about different kinds of flows in a relationship from a guy known as Reynolds who came up with numbers because he studied the hell out of this shit, right? He was really interested what happens when you put something in the stream. Uh, waterfall is a great example of, of, of the two flows in one place. Let's see if I can get a picture. Does it actually tell? Eh, that boiling edge you see, it's the chaotic flow. The clear water is your laminar flow, where it's just all going all at once, and it isn't doing that. And there's a difference between the two. Right, it picks a wallop of force less than that does. And there's ions produced in between the two layers always uh, when it comes to water doing that. And so there's actually numbers you can use to calculate boundary layers, which talks to you. You'll come up with some really cool stuff. A boundary layer around a human hand, right, uh, of heat. Your boundary layers exist in all forms and flows or compression and decompression of etheric things, right, and then you really start to get into the, wow, man, it's really cool, it talks about all sorts of different things you'll have to learn about, and this one here's just on Wikipedia, go get it, right, time average velocity profiles, a wall, laminar, turbulent, so how can you move one front against another, free steam, <clears throat> and to see here, boiling the atmosphere with microwave, Right, popping one thing into another. And that'll also squeeze particles together that are in here to be bigger droplets, to join the flow more readily. And they can move that vest velocity. If the jet stream's moving at 200 miles an hour, that stuff could be in it moving at 200 miles an hour. Uh, mostly they move at about 120 to 150 miles an hour in between layers. They move moisture very, very, very quickly. How do you think they got that flow uh, so quickly down to you? Okay. Uh, that must be uh, the, the guy, Mr. Reynolds, right over there. Uh, uh, very, very nice mutton checks you get there. Uh, very nice loving the hair. I can relate with you on that. Uh, you had a bad hair life, too. Uh, Asborn Reynolds uh, popularized this concept, and he introduced the numbers. That's George Stokes. Hey, I'm in a place called Stoke. Huh? Was he stoking at something? How did he get his nickname? What's up with all that? Did some guy stand in this thing? There's all sorts of cool apparatus. Uh, see, this. Uh, that is still at the University of Manchester uh, that demonstrates these type of flaws. Yeah, I think I'm going to go have a peek at this. I can, I can film that thing. I think that might be an interesting day's outlook. He even had a bong at the ready. How cool is that? Nah, that'll be part of the experiment. <laughs> he wanted to make sure that he, he, he had no, no interference of the levels. Everything was going to be on the ups. So, right, let's have a quick look at you. And I showed you you guys this morning. Uh, and this is an old image. This will be from yesterday. Yesterday's growing. Yeah, let that energy go. We was hoping not to see that kind of stuff today. Yeah, but I wanted to, to show a picture of our mother in hopes that uh, the whole new image would be in from you guys yet. Yeah, but you're still at uh, many. Probably about 3 or 4 in the morning my time. I'll have that image in. So, yeah, I won't go there. And we have our own uh, capping things going in. And it looks like uh, people have been asking, what in the hell's going on over the Carolinas? Oh, you get banned. You get banned, you get canned, it's a fucking shame. Look at the hell's going on. Look like you had a dog fight going on out here. With this little blaze having a war, what's going on? Why did they put a number four in your sky? Was that the unit that did this? Oh, four. Yeah, it, it was just an absolute criminal sky of the United States of obvious chemtrailers. Hey, the number two turned your sky into the perpetual deuce. In case you wonder what that is, in the United States, we very often assign the number to our bodily function. Number one was a P and number two was a pull. So if you hear me say your sky looks number pull, it's a number two. And otherwise, it's the deuce. And Generation X has been known to drop the deuce on you. But you better be watch out when we start smacking our fists against our knee, knees again. Because you know Degenerated X is coming. And you're going to suck it, suck it, suck it. Because I've had it with showing this cam every day like this. So I'll get to your forecast stations. By the way, my forecast is still accurate. That's why I'm not in such a rush to get to show you a, a, the more poisoning going on. Because it's not, it's not so pleasant, you know, when people think I live this big high life over here. It is so fucking fun to do. 
at, at 10 49 at night on my time on a Friday night. I'm not out whooping it up party time like you guys think I should be doing. No, I'm here showing you your boost up skies. I'm here defending my mother 24 hours a day. How could you go out party hardy 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 wanna party hard over there when our world is being poisoned and people and animals that did not rhyme being killed. And if they did nothing wrong, you're supposed to get a trial with presumed innocence. Now where the people are guilty and the guilty are innocent. <laughs> we, we, do, we do some interestingness out in the ocean over there. Microwaves being used against us already. The invisible weapons that Alana Freeland warned us about 20 years ago being evidenced in our skies and being used in the, the use of them being disguised. That's, that's Detroit. I recognize that anywhere. That's Lake St. Clair. Yeah. Yeah, there's your eight mile. You count them block lines from the center here, and you'll get your eight mile. That's about there. Yeah, everybody's living off in Flint. Everybody's been all through this avenue shit. I mean, this shit's all burned out. Yeah, they, they fucked it all up. Air economy. And then they, they, what they do is they, they roached out the cities with storms. Like uh, they knocked the levee out for Katrina north of New Orleans and flooded out the black neighborhood and relocated them into the bankrupt cities to add a tax base. And the people that were so out of their depth, and a lot of them suicided, couldn't keep up the taxes of the free things they were given, and became back a system of the dull, relocated into a city that needed the money of the dull to perpetually enslave the population, spray them and dumb them down with chemicals. Yeah, the, the, uh, the Baptist churches is, is such that I uh, would attend from time to time, because I love hearing the music of the hymns, right? It's oneness. In its purest form and singing is beautiful. And uh, they were speaking of chemtrails. They were speaking of the Morgellons and the fibers. And that's where I learned about Morgellons, actually. It was in Flint, Michigan. They had a, a whole bush covered in cobwebs. And when I was playing with them, somebody ran out of your arrows. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. You'll get sick. You'll get sick. And I said, what are you talking about? He said, don't you know? And he went into it. He went into They know. They talk about it very openly in the churches there. They know they're being depopulated. They're come for the black gene with the vaccine too. Know this. And so we, we got to all band together here and just quit worrying about our differences and just find the one thing we have in common. And that can build the conversation. That can make you overlook a lot. I'll never overlook pedophilia, poisoning, and murder, and, and taking of the oneness of things so that you can have it in your pocket. I'll never ever agree to that. I'm just doing a quick cruise through. I need to get an idea of what's going on in the northern... Yeah, uh, your forecast for London tomorrow, I'd see, he, it might be sunshine when he walks in, and to get the crown, there's some bitch going to have a wet ride, because they all sing, long may it rain for the king, and it's going to come. And so expect a wet parade in London tomorrow. Yeah, it don't look normal, though. Look at a hairdo on a skeleton bone. Here's the hipsters. Is a town I know where the Cambrans go called Camrock. Bomb, bomb. Well, you guys get fucking smashed. Look at this shit going here. Absolutely smashed. Hey, that's Mr. Spooks. He's feeling lonely. He does this outside my door for a few hours. He's been paid. Boom, 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 go to plumes, going in over Newman, boom, going to plumes over wall, all booming, all Teflor. Too close to the word Teflon for my life. But that one going over here, hang on, that one was interesting. Hang on, that was, that was extraordinary. Yeah, let's look at it. It's remarkable, so let me make some remarks about it. Look at that one there, look like a rake. So yeah, that's the one rakey, but not the kind we like. It's like the head of the skelly bob in the sky. I'm going to do a little something on that. So I get you and that's cut more focus. Well, they're giving me those weird lines. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that, isn't that an obvious deployment? How did they do that? So let's see it from the beginning. Or it's a hazed out square, or crept out nothing, with an emanation point with the parentheses around it, right? To do the shock wave, create that flaw. Right? Streamer, 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 adding to it. Boom. And we got the deployment doing the star formation. When did the spokes come out? 
Alright, there's the shield. Very flat on one side, down on the other. They all do something different. I do have names for them. I'm going to start saying them out loud. Emanation point. Record deployment. Boom, 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 boom. And it peppered along the way. Boom, 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 Or is it a drone swarm? I wonder about drone swarms because they're being sold. They're selling them are cheap. And they could do this. They could carry a few pellets. seed, go out, boom, fly it back, get reloaded. Next, next, next. Next, next, next. And I do wonder about this. Are they using uh, very small drones uh, to do this? Because the amount of area they're covering is phenomenal. Right? Let's like, think logic here. Look at all of them peppering out. What could do that? Hey, you're not seeing them from the ground. So what cloaking is being used? Or let's think logical. Hey, it's so 12 miles high. You can't see it because it's too small. Right? 100 yards. But why would be hard to see up there? Y'all don't can see the forest for the trees, let alone smell the chemicals in the breeze. Oh, wait a minute, you do. You guys comment about that all the time. You had a bit of a rumbler last night there, right? In New Zealand, wake you right on out of bed, eh? 5.2, told you so. Hey, they, it had to happen. The dynamics of the storm and the beam said so. What did the Ghostbusters say? Never cross the beams. Well, we're the chembusters, and we're going to bust them doing this shit. Ba ba bam 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 ba ba bam 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 bam. Who are we gonna call? You gonna call on your inner self to get a fucking grow a set? And we'll do something about these false sky lashes in the programs, and that are allowed to do it. The chemicals that are being made in such nano farm, they have to go up our nose with the without the rubber hose, so to speak, and damn sure without our permission. Hey, somebody's making them, right? If you're making them. You better think about what you're making is being used for. Right? Think about that. Imagine all the stuff Tesla thought about he never told us. He said there's stuff he never would show. Yeah, one's a three-way uh, plasma generator. It would be a terrible weapon. There's many attempts at building it. Going on. Going on. Look at all this pointing towards an emanation point here. And shark waves can produce the low pressure change enough to nucleate a cloud condensate. Right? You got a low, you got high pressure in a soda bottle, low pressure in the atmosphere. You pop the top little cloud farms. That's the easiest example I can give you of a quick pressure drop condensate. Uh -huh. Off the wingtip of a plane when it comes in. Uh, you will sometimes catch it when it banks. It's just enough pressure drop, just right, just enough moisture in the atmosphere. She'll drop a cloud and it goes away very quickly. Very, very quickly. It shouldn't persist all day long. Yeah, well, a condensate will evaporate. And uh, nucleates uh, very often go away when they reach uh, ambient temperature, or the temperature of everything around it. It either forms into an ice crystal, floats on by, or dissipates. It, it takes another state of water. Sometimes it, I think it goes invisible and shows up somewhere just to answer somebody's prayers. So they don't wake up thirsty. Ah, I just wonder if the waterfalls of our dreams might be just as wet. And when the water disappears, maybe it goes there. How good imaginary. I mean, that a happy thought. Well, I'm showing you the poison of us all. It's a titanic it's sinking. You always got to have a comedian on board. Who wants a violinist? Unless he's singing funny stuff. But when they're fiddling on the roof, it's very, very wrong. Boom, 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 boom. And the storms just ain't fizzled out. And the planes, they won't stop going. Well, I see the campbams on the ground. They're burning all your shit. Do, do, do. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. With fucking chemical madness. Cambominated breath. With sulfuric rain from acids. We don't Follow the acid test. You guys had acid rain all over your country yesterday. The readings clearly showed this. Well provable by anybody. With a simple piece of litmus paper. You ain't gonna have it in a jar. All you need is some rain. Hold it in it. Bring it in. Put it next to the guide of the colors. You don't want a whole bunch of two dice. Just show the guilt. Or show the innocent. Just show the numbers. And let's do it determinant. This is acid rain so far, descending upon this country, burning their crops, burning their soils, settling in the waters, and defoliating the land. 
burning the trees, killing them, killing your beautiful green forest that I'm so happy I had a chance to see before they're gone. I'm so happy I got to give the talks around here before they burned your fucking forest down. And here comes more chemicals, more acids to assure there's no regrowth. And that what regrowth is chemically contaminated mRNA. A vaccine's even been given into the deer in North America. Hundred million sheds. Who responds with the number that were bought by a president as he left office? I wonder where they went. What an asshole. He is the soul of a donkey. Yeah, that's an ass soul. Look at this line of crap. It's not just a morning glory. I got a morning glory for you. If that's what you think, or you've been eating too many morning glory season, you're tripping. Look at that Spongebobby one. What are they doing? Having a, having a jellyfish catching contest out here? You want me to believe that one is? You know, a Tyrannosaurus can't wipe his ass, so quit throwing him out of the toilet. You know, it's that kind of world where people want to believe all sorts of impossibilities. You know, a movie where it has a jet trail in it, it it's, it's about the pre-dinosaur ages, it's just conditioning kids to see it in the sky. They forget that that deep blue that you see right here behind me, I picked this color in this banner very specifically. That is the color of your birthright sky. That's what it should look like. That is the color your sky should be. And no other color is acceptable. Unless a natural storm has come through. Know that. That's your birthright. Not the bull. Not the plow. Not the own it. Know it is. Know it. Hey, fight this shit fucking hurt. Did you realize it going that far? Get on a jet plane. Get 40,000 feet. Way up there. Look above your head. That's the color. If you're lucky. Because a lot of times I'm at 41. And I'm looking up. I see way above me. Fuck it, cat. What the fuck did that? Wasn't my jet plane. That's where I start twigging on the balloon. Right? It's always something I see that makes me go looking for what it is. Right? We gotta know exactly what's in our sky. We deserve this. We're owed this. We're jackasses if we pay for our own poisoning. We're fucking jackasses. We're not guinea pigs. And this is our world to protect. Are you a human being? I'm gonna go out. A human being. Because this slow killing ain't doing it. <laughs> yeah, because I still have to live every day knowing what's going on. And I'm going to flip it back around and let you continue to see. And I'll show you what's coming. Here I'll show you what's coming. Here it comes. It's just a hundred thousandth can bam. It's pretty fucking sad when you got to realize that every one of them that you're looking at out here is a man-made thing deployed in the sky over your head. And what goes up must come down. What goes up must come down. What's going on? You know, a song from the 70s. Listen to it. You'll burst into tears. You know why? Because it's still true. We didn't fix it. Our clean air acts that we got from soils like that have been overturned by future generations that fought for those things. The oppressor kids got even with the hippies. And they're going yippee, 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 ah, yo, kaye, motherfucker, over the top of the sea right now. With the upside down crush headed your way. Why would you feel threatened by that, anyhow? Wasn't it one of your saints that crucified upside down? I, I, I digress, but a lot of the commas around to act as the shockwaves to help influence the flaws. So you can start reading your skies very accurately. Well, how many directions you got? Everything should be headed south from here. Everything should be going south. But that one there, it fizz in a way. It was like an example of cloud brightening. It all should be going. Something is staying going. Pew, pew, boom, pew, boom, pew, boom, pew. You see the beat? See the beat of the EMF? Watch it now go underneath. Now, through watching those oscillations, you'll pick up the constriction of the tendrils, and you'll know when it's going to drop heavier on top of you. And the thought that I do, I usually look at this. Right, I'll watch this like a freaking hurt. I put in about six hours. One, yours is useless. I gotta say it. As I don't give uh, every 10 minute image or anything, even though it's on all the time. So they don't allow you to look at it. Uh, that's wrong. It's just, we should see what it's on all the time, anytime we want to look. This is a marvel. This is weather. This is you. And not everybody's up at the same time to look. 
but they give you here. You get that image and then uh, uh, two hours later they give you another one. Right, it's, it's, I go over to Australia, it'll give me much more detail. Here's one error, how much they decide to give us. It's going to low. Right, but I go to other sources if I choose to. I could just look at the clouds and tell you what's coming. Yeah, everybody should be able to do that. Remember when we used to be able to look at the sky and say, this is coming. Well, what our ancestors said the weather could be told by do seeing around you is no longer true. Uh, the black cockatoo is hoarse for, for chirping all the time, and then the geoengineer makes it rain. And when the black cockatoo is singing, it's going to rain within 48 hours. I was told that by one of the old folks up in Nim Bim Bada Bing Bang Bong. And I, it's accurate. He was asking me when it was going to rain. And I told him I had about three and a half hours. It had rained here in a long time. <laughs> it was a bold claim. It was off by a half an hour. You have to give me, you have to excuse me if I missed it by a half an hour. <laughs> but he says, yeah, I think you're right because I heard the black cockatoo sing. See, that's where I learned at something. I love my travels. I learn the coolest things. I do. If I ain't learning when I'm traveling, I'm an idiot. I ain't being great enough. You imagine that the guy that could talk the ear off a of cornfield, you get really quiet. You bring me in a social situation where I don't know anybody. You want to see me get quiet? Or overcompensate? You got beam sweat coming from out at sea here. You get a beam sweat coming in from a ship going in that direction there. I read this like a fucking heart. You get one coming in from a station around here somewhere. Emanating two two form beams here. You got a... Yo, yeah, he ain't hiding this shit. Come on now, give us some imagery. Oh, please. Uh, the inheritor of the prey mammister's position, which is usually prone or uh, hands and knees. Uh, could you please give us some real radar imagery? It uh, would be great. It's a lot of money you bilk uh, from, from these people uh, to show them what's not going on and not telling them what's about to happen. Not showing the people that you get dead smacking them. You're not showing the people the rain accumulations on the tens. They're going to be even more devastating that the dumb. It looks like it's going to get another soak. You know, have you told them yet? Have you told the Met Service? Are you gonna? Here's three days from now and here's five. Something's going on. You can just look at numbers and talk. Don't take them that fucking line. And you go to the other ones. Are they agreeing? Are they agreeing? Are they agreeing? Oh, when you start reading tendrils and stuff, you can start going 16 days ahead of time and do a weird shit. Like, Reverend said it was going to be an earthquake in the 50 or well, last week because they had to move the storm a certain way. Right? You'll start doing stuff like that. And wow. People will go, wow. If you look at things differently, they like to say you're, you're, you're a tinfoil hat, even when you're accurate. But you know what? I wish we was allowed to bet on the weather right now. Because, yeah, I'd be a millionaire. Yeah. You didn't have a good computer, and I'd still show you this stuff. I'd still not monetize my channel, because money's what got us in this situation. And yeah, I do work. I sell jewelry, and I'm going to come on after this and have a have a little a funding of myself sale, because it's time for me to get a nice room. Uh-huh. And there's one available up up on the hill above here, and I'd like to, I'd like to have it. Mm-hmm, so I got to raise my deposit. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wait for my commissions and stuff. I, they don't just go in the bank straight away. Look at the totals on Nelson. Oh my God. So expect that to happen. I expect to uh, be to talk about structured water in Ioni as well. It's right. I'm going to go to work after this. This is not work. It's my absolute pleasure uh, uh, to, to try to keep people safe. It's my honor uh, to serve the planet that has served me. It's my duty to be a humane being. A humane being. I uh, try to keep other beings out of harm. I don't know who I'm affecting, who I'm reaching. I don't share my work. I go to YouTube and put it up. I take its link and put it on where this video goes on Facebook. And that's it. That's the extent of it. You guys get all the word out. You guys take the brunt. You guys are the real heroes. Don't call me the hero for putting a video up. And if I share my video, they take me offline. I learned this a long time ago. Hey, so I just put it on my wall. Never share it to a single group. You guys do this. Not me. I don't go, watch my video. Watch my video. Why you guys accuse me of all ego hitting myself. I think you should look at the statistic on that rumor as well. And possibly, I'm under a gang stalking attack. And a lot of what's said about me is quite false. 
Because here it is Friday night. I'm not out canceling it up and living a high life. Uh, yeah, I think I earned a ticket, a half price ticket to see Roger Waters at the end of the month. Uh, so excuse me if I take some of my pay or it is. I don't have to approve that with you. And yeah, I imagine I'm like, I might film a little something on myself there about the no education. Yeah, it's the words in my mind. Something's going to come up. Every concert I'm at, I, I sing some alternative lyrics. I've sung my whole life. And I do it in front of the artists and I don't feel bad. <laughs> Every one of them, I've always done this. And if they're ever in front of me for real, they're going to hear it too. He said, oh, a song will hit my head and I'll try not to. You ever try not to do something? Like, you try not to uh, tell people that you're about to have 10 centimeters of rain hit old Bartle Frey over here. Right? It is never fails in his fail. You always seem to be in my mouth, those words. It never fails for it is fails in a Johnson and Johnstone. Mary Lane, range. I'm outside the range and the camp I'm cooking up all down the boom, 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 boom on every day. The camp I'm from plains and the storms that cooking are such a shame. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's see what we get going on here, old Zealand. Oh, yeah, 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 old world order Zealand here. To get rid of one cat to take out another. What's what storm they're doing now? What we got going on here? Right, we got the crash waves going on. They're all arcing out, seeking ground like magnetic particulates, as I often call them, since I'm not allowed to sample and prove exactly what they are. Not everything in an iron bar is iron. It had everything in a magnet that sticks to it is graphene. And well, all that not gold like the letters. And every fucking turd sure shines. Shiny eye. Look at the chem bombs being blown off here. Hey, Hork Spade, you seen what's going over you? Look at this. Watch this. Am I showing all right? Let me get you on screen better. I'm really trading her. Because you're right on the edge of the date line. Any further than that, you're looking at my wall. And we don't need the re-education camps. Do, do, do. We don't need the population vaccine, birth control. You force the products into our bodies. Boom, 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 boom. Oppressors leave our mother alone. Boom, boom. Hey, motherfuckers. Leave my mom alone. Boom, 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 boom. All in all, we're the bricks in the wall. If we choose to be in the wall. And only you can prevent the forest fire, said Smokey the Bear when I was a kid. But the ones that said that now are causing the forest fires. And the ones now, can bombs in parentheses. You see it yet? Do you see how badly owned you are? Do you see that this storm has been sustained, aimed, and just left over the top of you, and they hung you out to dry, and it is just sitting here, and that the whole tendril's coming your way? Yeah. It's just a cave storm coming your way. Mm-hmm. Hey, what a fucking shame. Absolute shame. Yeah, you're fraying down south. They finally turned that off. The low walk the corner. The old wiper smackaroo is about to occur because this one's coming. It's coming. It's steaming fast. It's coming into contact with that and the triple dynamics of that. Boys, that going to make a stinky air. You're going to have a, quite a storm coming here. And what was that about the 8th or the ninth when that's supposed to hit? Yeah. Can be bomb, bomb, boom, 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 the air. Look at the beam. You're going to step it on that last image. That is the zoom bit. The earthquake risk is shifting. The dynamic down is pushing down south. That's lifting that way. At the lows pulling up slightly here. Cracking that down. Main brute force is here. Jesus, that's bad. 
She'll rumble around the quake, around your volcano area. You get a blast going straight across the pass. Right there. And I don't see every day. Yeah. So, uh, eh. Yeah. I said it, they, when you get everything really, really wet and you start shaking it, the roads come down. And they all want no roads. They all want smart cities with you in them. But not, not, not smart enough to realize that you were manipulated to be in it. Like blowing up a levy and offering you a, a free house somewhere. You go, thank you, government. But they put you in like a Flint, Michigan. Or they stuck you over in Chicago. Or down in Houston, Texas. Where a few years later, they did it to them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, where bad behavior always occurred. Uh, in between, to make you not want to go back there. Or you, you felt relieved to be not there. And you feel relieved not to be right there right now. But if you hold on, it's a storm. Don't give up the deeds to your land. And even if they wipe your house off it. You you just sit there and, with your ancestors without the hut. Because what's more important, the hut or the jabba? You just say, and them jabba jaws, whoop, 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 all the fucking time in our ears, trying to tell us what to do, standing at the edge of a road saying you can't drive through their fucking street like they paid for the fucking road. Get the fuck out of here. I got no more right to the cobblestone out front than anybody else. Nobody had a right to charge me for the cobblestone. The cobblestone went on. Right? Let's be honest. My God, look at the totals coming. Yeah, I said coming. These poor islands out here. What they're getting. And every one of these is flowing over. These big tendrils. And you're getting from something to something more, you know. And it's not like it's football that it's needed. It's not like they're saying, oh, please, gosh, it's been really dry over here. You know, where they've been needing it over here hey, for their oranges and stuff, and they've been droughted out, right? No, no, they couldn't have their relief there. You just got to smack people that you need agenda from, because you need good, good, uh, small hand workers for your factory cities there. See, we can have those cheap iPhones so we can keep participating in a system that sold us all down the fucking river, and a river of fucking mud, like a goddamn lahar burying people alive. Over in Hawks Bay. The storms that don't fizzle out. Of warnings that don't get out in time. Well gone are the days of the nights they say. I say bullshit to that. The nights. Maybe lying. Well you know chivalry is not dead. Yeah, I wonder what it was gonna what they was gonna move across the tip. When's it gonna happen? There's a move, I'm waiting for it actually. Oh, this is spits. It's gonna be a big bean. It has to it's gonna be a big blast to shove that. I know who's gonna be guilty of that. You see that middle finger right here? I'm waiting. I'm watching what you're gonna do. Uh-huh. Hey Sydney. Have a, have a nice moment there. Go wax up your boards there, Wally Gang. Monday morning there, as you're driving to work, you're gonna get a big, big batch come across the road down there. You be prepared for that. Look, how much you gonna thump? That was a few days away. Yeah, that's what you're getting there. Yeah, it was that. It, it isn't a huge amount, but it's gonna be a gully washer all at once, which is always distressing. Hey, the possibilities of hails and microbursts is up there. Hey, the can can. Yeah, I'll get to you in a minute. Yeah, I got little songs in my head for you guys. I can't get it out of my head. The old can can song. What's up? You should never have told me it was pronounced cans. Because that started it, you know. Cans. <laughs> it just makes sense. The air with a C in front of it, right? Unless we're a turkey with Jarns. Right? 411. It's not quite 420 time for you up there. It is quite the opposite. But there's the bubbler for your barn water. There's plenty of it around. But they don't want you around, around. They don't want you around. Boom, boom, boom. There's no such thing as a bad dog. A lot. And we think that about life. Now, as this curls into that, he smacks that down. What kind of flows of outdoor occur? What two flows are meeting? Come on, think about this. Your laminar flow is doing the schmackingtons. And your lateral flow does the mixing. But the wake in front of the toe, smack bump that right over the island. And it's a really bad moment for you guys. Because that thing's like, oh, oh, oasis, son, you know. It's electric. And it's dancer full of K-bomb infectious. 
really made it in the cancer right eye objective. But it was cam bomb time. Do I just want you to know the cam bomb suck? Paris agreements gotta fail. You're being poisoned. You're being killed. And whether you like it or not, it don't change the reality of things. And the roadrunner's an idiot for even going for the fucking free seed when Wiley e. Coyote thinks he's some kind of super genius because he made a business card. And we're being ruled by gatekeepers, bill givers, yet. Figured it out yet? Oh, it's nice to see totals like this on a day where I just love to see sunshine. So you can enjoy your lunar eclipse energy that everybody had to have, right? Well, wake up. This is still going on today. It still happened. It didn't work. I guess we should go out and fight this shit a little differently. But it wasn't it cool to see the moon change colors? You can see that any night with Kanban refraction ice crystals up there. What in the hell is that? Hang on. What? What in the hell is that? That's like drill surgeon jelly. Don't that kind of time stop. What is going on here? I got like a, a my screen, I see, because I got a big one here. It this uh is a wedge of haze with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bombs. Big line here with a bomb, a bomb. And well it usually goes out to a third. So that just has an encourager. They want the flow to go a certain way. And left the explosion of the shape charge out. Yeah. The edge of the wake can be well moved along if it's already got a boom boom in it. Because all they want to do is a boom 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 and I kill you and take what you own from your butt. Looking like the bear claw but it's got the metal finger in the air. I gotta zoom back. Let's get them doing that thing. I oh, don't like. Let's do it in the Masonic checkerboards on it. You see? See a skelly bob head? It just said fuck you New Zealand. That's never good. Even the sky has had enough. When Mother Nature shows up and takes out the motherfuckers, I don't think it's going to be very indiscriminate. Because it knows in a blink of an eye, we were here. Yeah, but it was here before. It, it'll be here after. Yeah, but we either get to incorporate ourselves with this earth thing going on with the earth scene, right? And quit disturbing its vibe all the time. Or it's going to vibe us right on out of here. Because... Tribe and vibe, it goes together, and if we ain't with the Earth's tribe, that's not cool, huh? That's not a cool sound of thing, too. Now, you ain't even vibing with Mother Earth. Oh, you're meditating in the world, and people be homing it up like that, and meanwhile, Dalai Lama's sucking on a kid's tongue, asking him, too. He knew better. He went to an English university. He knows what he said. I mean, while you get in university, people stop being used. People don't believe you about certain flows, even though you can show photographs of it. There's Reynolds numbers you could do to calculate the flows and the calculations and all that. Here's the formulas of flow in a pipe, right? You could calculate if you put your big thumb on the outside, how, how fast your peas will going to come out. And meanwhile, my mother's being treated so disrespectfully. It like a face. In the head. It would be in tears. Absolute tears. Look at my mother. Look what we're doing. Squared edge clouds are not naturally occurring all the time. Gammy, bammy, bammy, bending bombs. You're getting bent, man. You're getting owned and you're getting lied to. Don't lie to our future generation about science. They're the ones that are supposed to think of the new cool stuff. We got a lot to do, but to undo what we did. When we act like the big B here, we need to turn that into the superhero goggles, right? And we all of us assume our jobs that we know inside we need to do. You know when you see something that's on the ground and needs picking up. So what if you didn't do it? And we all start thinking, hey, we won't be like this thing that look like it blew its brains out here out in the middle of the ocean. Psh, pow! Opening up his mouth and spewing out. Like it was doing magic. And that thing there looking like like old lizard. Welcome to the coronation. Oh, they're all must be got their invitations. And they're having a special party. All the entities have come to watch the crowning of the new one. To watch the Pendragon. Oh my God, look what they did to our world. Look what they could do.
Look what we could do. If you don't know what we could do, look inside yourself. You're unlimited. Big love, peace.